Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, today's date, it's uh, November 2nd. Wow, I can't believe it. You know, when, when it's November, you just think <laughs> the year is just about over. I, uh, this is my medicine thing for the 31st, which means uh, that I didn't pull out the one for the first. Well, I haven't filled the containers yet. So I haven't done the meds for my f for the first day. Now today's the second. I've got to in a little bit uh, get out the medicine, all the medicines and put them into the containers so that I have them. And then since I'm uh, 80 years old, I don't go to bed at, you know, a certain time and then, you know, wake up eight hours later or whatever. I go to bed, wake up an hour later because I have to uh, urinate or I wake up two hours later and I have to urinate or, you know, Uh, bummer. So anyway, I've got to fill my medicine containers here in a little bit. I bought that uh, nice uh, container dough thing. I, I could, it's over on the other side, but I, I just woke up. It takes me a little bit for my vision to uh, swing into normal and a lot of times when I wake up I uh, have to be very careful for a little bit about walking around I have to hold on to a wall or do something getting old sucks I've mentioned this before if you're a young whippersnapper you know eat properly don't smoke uh, and, you know, exercise, do the things you're supposed to do. I work most of the time two jobs. I, uh, and I worked hard uh, when I uh, worked, even when I was a security officer. I, you know, I was walking all the time. I mean, there's, I've talked about that. There's times that I would pull the, you know, if I was on the, patrol car duty, I'd pull the patrol car over into one of our parking lots, get out and actually walk through the par you know, the parking lot instead of driving through and I just was systematically unsystematic and I uh, but, you know, I did not uh, I did not work out, I didn't go to a gym or anything like that and I thought that I was, well, and I did, I stayed healthy till about 65 years of age. And I started having the prostate problems and so forth and so on. But up until, you know, up until then, even later, when I would, you know, check in with a doctor in the beginning, like once a year, and then <laughs> graduated to, uh, you know, twice a year, seeing the doctor and everything. Uh, when I did have to go in for some procedure, finally, the nurses were shocked that, you know, somebody might, you, you've never had surgery, you've never, you know, whatever. Uh, times have changed for me. So if you're a young person, you know, really, you know, I have type 2 diabetes, you know, total heart block, uh, well, my list of conditions on when I go to the medical site is, you know, that take quite a few meds. So if you're young, you know, really, <clears throat> you know, take care of yourself. Um, this is 
I really didn't have it. I thought I should make a video because it's been a little bit, a few days. Uh, made some changes. I'm back using the uh, Blue Yeti X microphone. Um, what else? Well, over here, I've hooked up again the Chrome box. And right now I've just got the an email program showing on it. Uh, and I have a keyboard hooked up to it, have a speaker hooked up to it, uh, have a, haven't even tried it yet, uh, the uh, Logitech uh, C920, I think, hooked up to it. Um, I mentioned to you a while back briefly and sort of cryptically uh, that some changes might be coming. Guess it's time to uh, fill you in a little bit more. Uh, my daughter Hillary uh, married a Swedish man uh, I don't know when, many years ago and went to Sweden for 10 years and became, of course, a Swedish citizen. So she's a U.S. citizen and a Swedish citizen. And she came here back, I don't know how long ago that was. Been a few years. And she bought a piece of real estate. She bought some land, just the land, uh, here in Texas. And I don't want to mention the place or the people because uh, I might go through that area sometime and if they recognize me I'm not sure I would make it out alive I mean it uh, what did you see the movie Defiance that's about like you know she went down there and she uh, set up a tent down there for a little bit on her land to see what it was like. She, um, the people in that area, uh, a lot of them were, you know, packing a gun and would shoot somebody who came on their property. Just, you know, you didn't have to be coming on your property or coming on their property to, uh, uh, for some illegal purpose, you just happen to walk on their property by mistake, or uh, something like that. Texas has uh, interesting law enforcement, uh, you know, thing. They of course have, you know, the city police, and they have county sheriffs. They have the Texas, you know, the famous Texas Rangers. Uh, then, of course, like every state, you know, they have conservation officers and uh, park, you know, people like that. They also have, what am I forgetting? Uh, they also have a thing called a constable. And a constable, is that the correct word for it? Uh, there's one elected law enforcement officer for each uh, not county, because that's the sheriffs, you know. For each voting area, there's one who is elected. And, of course, he has to live in that precinct, let's call it. I'm not sure if that's what they call it or not. He has to live in that uh, precinct, so he has to be, you know, he, he's elected for that area. And... You know, what happens, of course, is when you work something down to that area, one, there's a lot of very sparsely populated areas, and you have a very limited uh, number of 
people to choose from and uh, let's say the standard or the quality of the people that are available to be elected a constable um, is you know very limited so that area where she bought the property you know she had plans of you know building a place and doing all this kind of all this kind of stuff um, just let me say by the way I'm in Fort Worth and Fort Worth I'm in the Fort Worth I'm sure uh, precincts they have I don't know how many they would have that would cover you know but uh, you would have a larger selection, let's say, of uh, people who uh, don't look like and act like they were in the movie Defiance. Um, but down there, you you didn't. And she was down there. I was, of course, worried about her being down in that area. And she uh, was talking to me on the her cell phone. And uh, she was walking a short distance, you know, down a road. She was walking down the road, you know. Very little traffic, of course. And somebody who lived, you know, who lived there. By the way, the, the places that were there were not, the, you know, the housing. It actually was a, you know, Hillary bought an area that, you know, flooded every time it rained, you know. Uh, but uh, she was walking down the road and talking to me because she was walking over to <clears throat> the lake. I think it was a lake because of constant flooding, you know. But And they had a uh, little boat dock there and they had, you know, some restrooms there. And she walked by, while she was talking to me, she walked by, you know, on the road. You know, she's on the road, and she walked by, and somebody who lived there, uh, a guy started yelling at her. And I thought, oh, my God, this does not sound good. I, you know, he was yelling at her, asking her, I forget what, you know. Uh, don't, you know, don't you come on my property, which she didn't, you know. And, you know, so she kept walking. And he called, that guy called the constable who lived in that area. And, of course, the constable knows all those people, every one of them, I'm sure, because there's not very many. And uh, what the constable does, I mean, he has full law, he's a law enforcement officer. You know, he has a patrol car and, uh, you know, police radio and the whole bit. Um all he has to do is deliver legal papers the way sheriffs do in other jurisdictions. You know, a court order or something like that. But um, anyway, that guy called him and that guy, you know, jumped in his patrol car or whatever. And then I heard him, you know, then Hillary had her phone on, but uh, he was he was yelling at her, which... Uh, you know, I spent 30 years working hospital security uh, and I was a reserve officer for a small town uh, I forget how many years 10 years or more one day a week, every day a week and then of course they would ask me to sometimes come in and you know, fit on a, a regular shift and uh, stuff like that. So I have a little bit of experience with, you know, before I was a hospital security officer, I was uh, uh, a, uh, you know, security officer, and for about a year we had our own patrol service, my wife and I. Not unfamiliar with things, and this guy was, you know, the constable was 
yelling at Hillary and threatening her. I'm not sure why, you know, he was, I guess, I can't remember now what the thing was like, you know, who are you? What are you doing walking down this road? And we're not talking about a highway, we're talking, you know, talking about, you know, ugh. So, her property flooded. Everything, I think every time it rains, down in South Texas, down there, that, that area automatically floods. She didn't pay very much for the property. But, uh, so I think she still owns it. Um, but now she has purchased some property with a mobile home on it, someplace else. And uh, she is... Uh, going to build a place for my ex-wife, my grown son, and myself, and then her grandson, or her son, my grandson, for all of us to live there. And uh, it, uh, we're not sure exactly when it's going to happen. I mean, she already has her place, and for her son, there and uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be as early as February that we could move into it you know things come up especially with Hillary um, but so there may be some changes uh, if she gets uh, the place ready, you know, a separate place ready for us, uh, that would mean that I would be able to put up a ham radio antenna. Uh, that would mean that I would be able to put up like a weather station, which uh, I just wanted, have wanted to do for a long time, but you can't do it if you're you know, you're renting an apartment or something. And some other things that I would like to do. So I got some plans for the future. But. So that's a little bit of. What's going on. Now our lease here. Uh, in February we'll have to sign the lease for. And we've been of course living here for years and you know we always you know lease the place for a year and uh, but you have to give two months notice so I, I guess it's going to depend on what happens between now and you know like January uh, we may have to if, you know, at least month to month. But like I said, then you still have to, and it's more money, quite a bit more money. Uh, I think you can also lease like for six months. So you can lease for month to month, six months, I think, or, you know, for a year. Uh, but you have to give too much notice. Uh, so I don't know if this is going to happen for sure or you know not but it may so if if, if it does happen uh, the property is on some high ground close to a lake um, but it's not in the you know immediate Fort Worth area at, I think about oh, 45 minutes away uh, so that's a little heads up on what what might be happening um, 
By the way, the video you're seeing is from the, I moved that camera from off of, I have the two monitors here. And then just on the other side of this camera, just right, is the uh, Chrome box. I don't really need it on or up or set up. But I just like to play with the stuff that I do have, but I haven't really been doing much with it. Seems like I'm missing really something. I see I've got audio, I've got video. Uh, can't remember now, I need to add something to it. I hook it up from time to time. Uh, and then I usually think, why am I even messing with this, you know? Uh, I've been following this. Let's see, let's go over here. I'm, I'm always following the news. These two Democratic senators, United States senators, you know... They're, they have their reservations about, you know, things. And so the Democrats want to accomplish, try to accomplish some things that need to be taken care of. And these, these two are Democrats, but they're, they have, you know, the, the Democrats, you know, President Biden and you have to deal with them, and they're, they're, it, it creates, you know, and that's why I guess they love it. It gives them actually a great, great, you know, bit of uh, power. You know, the news media always has to, oh, okay, well, President Biden and the Democrats have put forward this, you know, this law, you know, these uh, recommendations, you know, for the, what they want. But, you know, Senator so-and-so and Senator so-and-so, we don't know what they're going to do, and those votes are needed, and always some pains in the ass. Manchin uh, warns Senator Manchin, he may vote against Biden's Social Security net plan as he criticizes key aspects of it. I mentioned in, I think, the last, maybe not the last two videos, but in some videos, I mentioned in a video a while ago that uh, uh, Queen Elizabeth had been seen for the first time using a cane at some event. And it was said that uh, she just needed the cane for safety reasons or whatever. Then after that, she was, you know, she wasn't using the cane anymore, but then right after that, you know, like, then she went into the hospital for sort of undisclosed reasons, but was only there a short period of time. And uh, when she was using the cane, I, I think I blogged here Oh, you know, at her age, not a good sign. And uh, then when the, a day or two later when she uh, went into the hospital and did not go up into Ireland for some event that she was, you know, had been planned that she was going to, I, I, I said, oh, not a good sign. And now the headline is, I uh, saw it some here someplace that, she was seen driving, and she drives herself. Well, I mean, not always, but around her, around the estate there, she drives. She was seen out there driving. So maybe, maybe she has a few years left in her. She'll probably outlast me. These things, you know, that you see here. This girl was sold to a stranger so her family, you know, could get money to eat as Afghanistan is, 
crumbling, you know, in every way, economically and everything else. And then under that story is uh, CNN witnessed a nine-year-old being sold for marriage to a 55-year-old man. I didn't get my offer in. I'm kidding. Three guests uh, reported they shot dead in Afghanistan for playing music at a reception. Um, music's not allowed. You know, and images of the uh, prophet are not allowed. And all this kind of stuff. Oh, you know. I mean, tra tradition is, you know, good. And, you know, I, I don't believe there's a God. But I'm not somebody who's, you know, I, I think religion does help some people. I'm not sure it helps people in the United States, but, but uh, you know, it, it comforts people. It gives them a sense of tradition, a sense of family, uh, you know, like born-again Christians who, by the way, I've mentioned this before, I mean, I... If you look at my old things, I talk about the born-again Christians here in the United States, and I repeatedly talked about how they're good, how they, how they were good, decent people, and that you'd probably love to have one as a next-door neighbor. You know, if you were sick, they would be coming over to, you know, bring you something and stuff. Uh, but with the election, when they went massively. For Donald Trump, I have total ch I've totally changed my mind about them. Okay, I'm not going to start cussing them out or whatever. Okay, I have I, you know I from that point on, I'm not saying anything good about those people. Uh, and I get so and a lot of other people, I'm so enraged that their ministers, their preachers. Uh, are doing politics and the law is that, you know, you know, organized religion, they are not supposed to be, you know, preaching politics and doing politics in their church. Otherwise, I mean, they can do it, but then they're supposed to be taxed like other. And of course, the amount of politicking that they do is unbelievable. And their ministers, you know, are uh, telling people not to get the vaccine. And just on and on. So, uh, Reverend Jesse Jackson hospitalized after a fall. Alexa, how old is Jesse Jackson? Jesse Jackson is 80 years old. Okay, he's the same age as I am. How's it going, James? Good. I'm making a YouTube video just to let people know I'm still around. That's my son. Here we have my ex-wife, who I have been divorced from her for, I don't know, like 40 years or so. But we ended up, you know, living, you know, she ended up eventually, well, I'm not going to give you it entire, but she ended up living in Fort Worth, Texas, eventually. And then uh, eventually, after some uh, traveling around, I ended up in Fort Worth, Texas and rented a place here in the, with my, at that point, uh, grandson was with me. So uh, we rented a place here in this apartment complex up, upstairs, right above her apartment. And, um, 
and my uh, Jimmy, who you know, he was living off and on with uh, his mother, my ex-wife. He ended up marrying. He went to China once, and then he came back, and then he. Um, went back to China and he married a, the girl that he met over there and came over here and then they were eventually divorced. I mean, it was, it wasn't going, you know, the marriage was not going to work because uh, you know, she married, married him, I'm sure, you know, so she could come to the United States and so she could send a lot of money and she worked hard, you know, working in uh, Chinese restaurants and places like that, working long hours and sending every penny she could get, to, you know, to her parents. And, well, it just wouldn't work, so. But anyway, we moved here and so we were living upstairs in a uh, one bathroom, uh, one bedroom apartment. And then uh, I, had n I had not seen the two bedroom, two bath apartments here and one in this building became available. I, f I forget how they have it. I think there's one in the, I don't know, no, be two in the front that are two bedroom, two bath and then two in the back that are two bedroom, two bath, you know, then the rest are. But Anyway, I mentioned to the uh, manager here of the apartment complex when there was one available here. In fact, uh, okay, it was the one in the front. And uh, I said, oh, you know, I might be it. And she said, oh, I'm sorry, that one's, you know, that one's, you know, rented. And I said, oh, and she says, are you interested? And I said, yeah. And she said, the one in the back. So she took me over and came in and wow, big improvement, you know, two bedroom, two bath. And it was a hundred, only a hundred dollars more a month. So uh, I asked my grandson who wasn't paying any rent or anything, you know, uh, I said, would you be willing to pay, you know, $100 more a month and we'd have two bedrooms, two baths. He really, he wasn't, you know, he was just interested in working and playing video games. And anyway, he agreed. And so we moved in. And it's a good thing we did because I don't know how long, a few years after that, I don't think I could make it up the stairs or down the, uh, the stairs. You know, it's like one floor. But I, I wouldn't be able to make it. I'm at that point now. Uh, I mean, a, a situation or two has come up and in order to get up like my uh, Hillary, you know, uh, lives in an apartment. She has, a, she has her place there, but she's living here, you know, in an apartment here in order to be here for Darlene and myself. So she's paying on a place out there. Of course, she bought it. You know, she didn't have to. She bought the house, actually a trailer, mobile home. And so she's paying for that. Pay, you know, well, she doesn't have to pay for much, but she's making improvements and she's building a place for us out there. But she's also, you know, paying for a place here. Uh, yeah, she makes pretty good money at what she does. Uh, uh, anyway, I think I covered what I want to uh, what I want to cover. Um, I think I started to tell you something, and I got sidetracked. Uh, My ex-wife 
you know, is wheelchair bound. She got polio when she was just before the vaccine came out. There's, uh, I think, eight, I'm eight, I think eight years older than she is. Uh, and she, you know, she got polio when she was like five, and then right after the vaccine came out. And, you know, so she was in the hospital a long time. Luckily, her the uh, polio didn't affect her lungs, but and uh, didn't affect her breathing, but her legs ability to, so she, as a little girl, you know, she went to school with the big old braces on. Phil one time in school, you know, when she was, I don't know, first grade or something like that, and broke her, you know, broke her leg. And uh, we got married at age 26. And, uh, she had to use crutches at that point, you know, to get around. And uh, then, see, we were married for 12 years, and then she wanted a divorce. Well, we were married for six years, and then she wanted a divorce, and she, uh, I came home from work, and <laughs> no no wife, no kids, and uh, no furniture or anything. She had just moved out. But uh, unfortunately, she came back. So we were married for another six years, and then she decided she wanted a divorce, and she got her. I gave her the you know I gave her the divorce. Um, but then eventually here she got cancer and ended up, you know, wheelchair bound, you know, she's either in the wheelchair or she's either in bed or in her wheelchair on the computer, you might be able to hear, see her. I don't know, in the background you might hear the, uh, her playing some video games, simple video games. So we lived, you know, well, uh, separately for years and years, and then eventually, uh, Russell and I moved here. And then at some point, the price for these apartments is just, it goes up every time, every year. And so we, you know, like we were paying double, you know, living right next door to each other. Here and paying, you know, two rents, two electricity, two for cable, tele, for cable internet, for cable television, for go through, you go through, you know, go through the list. And so, we moved in together here, and now I don't know what we would do if we had to live separately, because with the continuing increase in the price of rental or rental property, I don't think either one of us could could make it alone. Uh, So, anyway, if, if the thing with Hillary does work out, I, uh, for the first time, I can put up a ham radio antenna. I'm not going to put up a mo monstrous anything like that. You know, it's just going to be, uh, the property that she has is, uh, the elevation is pretty good. It's you know, and unfortunately, in addition to you know, what are they? Yellow jackets, I think it is. That property out there was, is, and maybe still is loaded with yellow jackets. But 
it's very rocky but uh, I think it'll be good for a there is a ham radio club out out there but one of the things I want to put up and there there probably already is I'm sure uh, I want to put up a weather antenna and um, you'll be able to log into it and see the weather statistics and probably I will mount a camera on it that shows the area and maybe that can be it, it will at least to be able to be controlled by me I mean turned and zoomed and that kind of stuff uh, or just maybe a stationary one I'm not sure but that's something that we can't do here um, now there's a ham radio club up there and they have a their club dues are only fifteen dollars a, a year so I'll definitely be paying I wanted to pay but I, you have to print out a and I thought that uh, the Windows uh, or the Microsoft browser I thought that that was one of because I've no, I remember using it but I couldn't get it to print out the uh, I mean I can see it but I can't type to it so I need to work on that and definitely send them their money you know send the money for the uh, you know the dues and uh, their repeater uses a uh, four frequencies up there and I've got two let's see oops okay not here on the desk I have two handy talkies radios you know ham radios and I'd like to get a really I mean they're good especially one of them Yezu um But I wanted to get one of the really good ones. Uh, maybe the Yezu. They use um, oh, I forget the protocol that they use. I but. I mean, I can use a you know repeater, but <clears throat> uh, you know, and their their repeaters are connected into like a network, so I can <clears throat> talk around the world to also, of course, what I'm doing. But I've <laughs> how many times I've never you know. Let's see, I want to study again for my general class license. But I haven't even looked at the, the every I forget how many years you know they they change the questions make improvements and then they come up with a new you know set of questions when you take the test you know how many questions you're going to be asked from each area but you don't know what the questions are going to be and uh, so if we do get, if uh, Darlene and James and myself, if we make it out there, uh, you may see some, you may see some changes. Uh, you're probably not interested, but you may see. Um, see some amateur radio stuff. And it's a small town. You may see some walking and talking uh, videos, which you used to like, which I used to make. Because uh, it's a small town. And I may make, you know, when, when events come up out there, I may make some, you know, make some videos, so you may see some, see some of that. 
Uh, I'm looking over at the Hi, greetings. We I'm looking at that. We are a e-commerce company supplying many PCs on Amazon.com. I have too many PCs, by the way. Well, I'm using one uh, here right now, but let's see. I know what these people want. I'm sure is a review. We are an e-commerce company supplying many PCs on Amazon.com. Currently, we're looking for some top reviewers to review our products. I wonder if you would be interested in releasing our product to your account. You will learn more about our products. Look forward to hearing from you. Best regards, best wishes. And uh, there's no link right now to... And I mean, I won't even reply because I'm not allowed to review items. On I had a, over a thousand reviews on uh, Amazon, and they felt that I was being too generous in uh, giving five star reviews and that kind of stuff. So no, you know, they didn't say anything to me. All of a sudden, just one of you all said, "Jim, all your reviews are gone." So they never said anything to me. They didn't say they were removing the reviews. They, uh, and the only way I knew, you know, like I went and uh, tried to review, review an item. I didn't actually want to review an item. I was just going to see what would, you know, and then it says that I'm not allowed to, so. Uh, that kind of pisses me off that they, you know, they should have contacted me and said, you know, we think that our uh, software thinks that you give too many five-star reviews, so we're going to uh, not allow you to review anymore. I would have liked to have been able to download that thousand reviews that I did. Uh, you know, I could have uploaded all those to, uh, to YouTube. Um... You may run across an old video on my site here where I'm talking about and, and saying, hey, you can... Well, I did that anyway, though. Uh, if I talk about something I think you might be interested in, I put a, a link to Amazon. Uh, let's see. Okay, this is 43 minutes. And I'm going to stop here. Uh, you probably didn't stick around this long anyway, but I felt like it was time to put something, you know, put something out. Um, oh, let me mention this, though. Wait a minute, let's see. Uh, I've got some docking devices. If they can't see behind me very well. Oops, there it is. I felt the cable. I've got you know, several devices like this. I have at least two. I think I have more than two. But I'd like to have a, uh, a docking station. Now, I'm using Windows 11. And then I have a Chrome box, too. I'm thinking about this one. What do you think about it? I'll put a link to this. What do you think about this one? Um, $119. Um, there it has two USB 3.0. And I like the thing that it has audio in and out separately. You know, separate jack instead of one. <clears throat> then there are four USB 2.0. And two HDMI and then one of those uh, cables that I think of actually being more like a uh, 
go into a printer or something. Like no, okay, it, it, it's like that in the, plugged into the uh, monitor. And, uh, you know, this is just a regular 3.0 coming out of the monitor. And I don't have it hooked up to anything. But I can also come out of there with the, whatever you call that, USB connector. I have one of them laying around here someplace. Um, oh. Oh, yeah, you could see it, yeah. Wait a minute. I don't think you saw the... Uh, oops, wait a minute. Yeah, I think you did. I'm not sure if you saw that or not. Anyway, there's a whole bunch of these interfaces. Oh, up. Uh, I've got, let's see, wait a minute. By the way, I'm thinking about ordering this. I haven't looked to see how much. Uh, my ex-wife does. She takes care of. She pays for. And I'm paying uh, rent and a whole bunch of stuff. And she, one of the things she does buy is she buys all the groceries. But, you know, and she asks, what, you know, what do I want? But she's very frugal. But so I'm, I'm wondering about. Uh, I'll have to check, and I would have to pay for it myself, you know, because uh, I could never get her to. Uh, let's see, eight bags of. Let's see. Four cups. built-in portion control. I don't know. Uh, we have food delivered by uh, Walmart. She does the, she lo we order, it seems like twice a week, maybe not twice a week, but she orders from uh, Walmart. I gotta be careful when I'm talking to you guys uh, and ladies uh, I use I get Walmart and Walgreens mixed up in my head and other stuff so anyway uh, thank you very much for watching